As of October 16th, 2022, there are 50 volcanoes that are actively erupting around the planet. One of these volcanoes is Yasur in Vanuatu, which holds an interesting title. It is producing the longest known eruption of any volcano in recorded history, as it has been definitively continuously erupting since July of 1774. However, this eruption may have even began further back, potentially during 1200 CE, when the Byzantine Empire still existed. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Iceland, the Grimsvon volcano produced a glacial flood known as a Jökulup, meaning that in the short-term future it has a greatly increased chance of erupting. Meanwhile, in Chile, the Nevado de Chalon volcano produced a series of unusually powerful explosions, sending plumes of ash several kilometers into the atmosphere. And in Italy, part of Mount Stromboli's active crater collapsed, producing an unusually energetic eruption. This eruption occurred on October 9th and caused a moderate volume of highly pressurized magma and volcanic gas to escape, and since the gas was released quite violently, it fell back to the ground as what is known as a pyroclastic flow. Over the next 100 seconds, this pyroclastic flow raced towards the ocean at high speeds and caused a plume of superheated material to rise into the atmosphere. As more pyroclastic flows were generated, it continued to carve a small ravine into Stromboli's northwestern slope. Then, a magnificent river of lava emerged, which quickly flowed towards the Mediterranean Sea. Despite producing a pyroclastic flow, what had just occurred was another example of a Strombolian eruption, which this volcano is known for, as the eruption type was named after this volcano. Since 1558, Mount Stromboli has been actively erupting 98.5% of the time. This pattern has continued into the 21st century, with Stromboli's latest eruption having begun all the way back in 1934. Mount Stromboli has a highly distinctive eruption type where a mild explosion ejects bombs of lava to a modest height over the time span of a few seconds, which releases minor amounts of ash. These explosions occur over variable periods of time, but generally occur about once every 15 minutes. Meanwhile, in Iceland, the glacier-covered Grimsvon volcano had its alert level raised from green to yellow on October 11th. This change was made due to the fact that a section of its ice cap had begun to rapidly subside as of October 5th, and as of the writing of this video has sunk more than 7 meters or 23 feet. This subsidence indicated that a glacial flood was about to occur or was already underway, which is known as a yokulop. While the exact relationship between these yokulops and volcanic eruptions is still debated, it is widely accepted that on several occasions a yokulop preceded or coincided with volcanic eruption. This occurred at Grimsvon in 1922, 1938, 1954, and most recently in 2004. Although Yokulops occur around the planet for varying reasons, when they originate from the Grimsvon volcano, they almost certainly are volcanic in origin, often due to its abundant fumaroles underneath its ice sheet. These fumaroles regularly release volcanic gases at or above the boiling point of water, which melts sections of the overlying glaciers, creating a thick subglacial lake which can have on the order of several cubic kilometers of water. All of this water eventually floods at a path of least resistance, creating a yokulop that floods distant drainages of the volcano. The removal of this water and ice reduces pressure on the magma chamber, occasionally triggering an eruption. However, in this case, the Yokulop was rather small, having a flow rate of 300 cubic meters per second, and has not caused significantly increased seismic activity at the overall volcano. In Chile, the highly active Nevado de Chalon volcano has been continuously erupting since January of 2016. In the past week, this volcano produced a series of unusually powerful volcanian explosions on both October 8th and October 9th, sending a plume of ash 1,700 meters and 2,500 meters above the volcano respectively. The earlier large eruption was preceded by a long period earthquake, indicating in that case an influx of shallow magma. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. As a final note, here is a brief overview of several volcano news stories which occurred but did not make it into this week's video. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Matt Howard for supporting this channel.